As one of the best wheeled armored vehicles of World War II, the British Humber armored car participated in most of the British military operations. The machine guns and cannons carried on the car not only provided basic suppression firepower for the soldiers, but also had a certain anti-armor and anti-fortification capability. However, due to the impact on British production capacity, only over 5,000 vehicles were produced during the entire World War II. Nevertheless, this was not a problem because Canada also joined the production ranks. Among them, the armored car slightly modified from the Humber MK3 prototype was called Fox, with a total production of about 1,500 vehicles. In 1942, Canada planned to create a light-wheeled tank destroyer based on the Fox armored car by installing the QF-6 Pounder gun to increase the number of frontline anti-tank equipment. The QF-6 Pounder gun, as one of the important anti-tank guns of the British Army during World War II, first appeared in 1942. Although it was unable to deal with heavy armored tanks such as the Tiger and Panther of the German Army, it posed a threat to a larger number of weapons such as the Panzer IV tanks and armored cars, and therefore also had its value. The modification of the Fox armored car eliminated the vehicle's original small rotating turret and replaced it with a forward-fixed fighting compartment similar to that of the German Hetzer tank destroyer. The front of the fighting compartment was protected by a large area of steel armor, with an observation window on the left side and continued armor on both sides, but with limited protection. Of course, the main gun was a six-pounder gun arranged along the central axis. The firing range was relatively narrow, and there were no standard auxiliary weapons on the vehicle because there was simply no place to install them. Even the driver had to crouch under the gun barrel, with the tank commander and gunner positioned on either side of the gun. From some photos, there is no clear evidence of ammunition racks, but fortunately the ammunition size of the six-pounder gun is not large, so carrying a small amount should not be a problem. The Fox armored car itself weighed only about 7 tons, with very good maneuverability, reaching a speed of about 70 kilometers per hour. After the installation of the 6-pounder gun, the weight increased, and the center of gravity of the vehicle was higher, which should reduce its maneuverability. According to the Canadian military's plan, they hoped that the tank destroyer would have a low profile. However, the Fox tank destroyer was as high as 2.5 meters, with a width of just over 2 meters. This not only made it top-heavy, but also increased the projected area beyond what the military had anticipated. In the spring of 1943, Canada terminated the related modification work and seemed to have dismantled the prototype by May of the same year. The decision to abandon the development of the tank destroyer did not mean that there was no military need. It was just that the Western Allied forces had more and more equipment, such as the M4 Sherman tank, and the pressure on the front-line anti-armor was relatively reduced. What was needed was an improvement in the capability of anti-heavy armored weapons, and wheeled vehicles were more used for tasks such as firepower reconnaissance. Although the Fox-wheeled tank destroyer was not successful, it is worth mentioning that Canada's industrial strength was indeed very strong at the time, as it only took a few months from the proposal to the production of the prototype. 